Tesla's latest software update that brought us this beautiful full-screen visualization has been causing havoc across all main instrument clusters. Luckily, most of these modern ones are firmware upgradable, so it's just a matter of time until they work well again. And speaking of updates, I have received the new firmware file for the V2 mini instrument cluster. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this update. To get started with the firmware upgrade process, you need three things. First, you need to download the updated firmware files. Link in the description box of this video. You also need a micro SD card. Now, if your computer has a micro SD card slot, then you don't need uh, an adapter. But in my case, I've got an old MacBook Air. It only has an SD card reader, so I need this SD card reader so I can format the SD micro SD card. Third, you, what you need is a SIM eject tool or or a push pin or something similar. Uh, once you have that. Uh, once you've downloaded the file into your computer, go ahead and plug in the micro SD card or the SD card onto your computer. Start up Disk Utility and make sure you format the micro SD in MS DOS FAT or FAT32 if you're using Windows. So in this case, this is a 32 gigabyte micro SD. So go ahead and format that. Once it's done, you can close that. Open the micro SD card, and I've already downloaded all the firmware files that I need. So if you head on to that download link, you should see a, a bunch of files. Um, what you want to do is ca copy the file called app.zbo. Now, I think this was created roughly about two weeks ago. So go ahead and copy that onto the SD card. Once that's done, that's all you need. You can then eject the micro SD card, take that out of the computer, and we'll head over to the card to flash the V2. So as you can see here, the remaining range and the state of charge are both incorrect. So I've got my micro SD and uh, this is a sim eject tool so in on the side of this v2 there is a micro sd slot so just go right ahead and insert it but don't let it fall there okay let's do that again shall we so on the side of this v2 there is a micro sd slot so face the with the label facing away from you just insert that into the slot and then using a sim eject tool there is a hole that resets the v2 so just go right ahead and press it and there you go that's the correct reading now so that's a really quick update so it looks like this contender is ready to fight another battle with the next Tesla software update. So big thanks to the team at VJoyCar who supplied this firmware update. A bit late to the party, but a welcome update nonetheless. If you have any questions or comments about this firmware update process, just pop them in the comment section down below or write me an email at autos.gizmos at gmail.com and I'm more than happy to answer those questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and if you're not yet a subscriber, I create detailed DIY car videos. So if you're into those kinds of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future updates. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.